Ninth Story Studios, giving story a voice. Welcome to the lift. Get ready to take a ride. <laughs> Hello, I'm Daniel Foytek, and I thank you for joining us for a special episode of Victoria's Lift. Today we're presenting the fourth of five mini-episodes for Christmas called A Little Lift for the Holidays. Full-sized episodes are coming, but until then, let's join Victoria for today's tale, Festive Spirit, by Jesse Hawk, told by Karim Cronfley and Amber Loverling, nay Collins. Thank you to all of you for being a part of Victoria's Christmas celebration. Check back tomorrow for our final holiday tale. That one doesn't open. Huh. Does it not? What a shame. I do so enjoy the freshness of night air, especially when snowfall is due. I don't often see it. I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. The sky is clear this evening. Forgive me, but I don't recall seeing you check in. No, I don't suppose you would. Can't be everywhere at once now, can you? You would be surprised. Tell me, how did you get in here? I would quite like to know that myself. In truth, I'm not even sure where here is. Some sort of hotel or similar establishment, perhaps? If you think I should have checked in. Yes. Well, there it is. Let me see. I know I came from out there. Oh, maybe I came down the chimney. Tis the season, after all. <sighs> Sir, I am not a child. I have seen things that could never be. I've watched bodies warp and stones bleed. And the very floorboards we stand on weep, sob, beg. But I do not believe in Father Christmas. And I do not believe you came down the chimney. Who or what are you? And how did you come to be in this room? You're correct, of course, and I apologise. Would you give me a hand? Thank you. Now, I know you're not what you appear to be. And nor am I, as you may have guessed. And you possess years beyond the youth you present. I did not mean to condescend or ridicule. Yet you are young to me. You are a child to me. No living creature, I am afraid, is capable of being as old as I myself am. That sounds lonely. I suppose it does. Every so often, though, I manage to bring myself down to earth. In more ways than one. It's not an exact science, mine, and it's always a surprise to see who or what I turn up as. And... I must say, this one is both novel and one I am particularly fond of, I think. And to boot, I've even encountered a friend in yourself. You, Victoria, have made me a little less lonely this evening. So I must thank you. Oftentimes I don't meet a soul on my ventures. And it is a very long gap between trips. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. You're from up there. Up is relative, but you get the gist, yes. Oh, I do so hope it snows. I never get to see it through the clouds, but I know it's magical. 
It is nice to meet someone who is alike myself, if not the same. This place is not quite like the rest of the world, is it? Nor, indeed, are you. I... I apologize for confronting you as I did. I did not realize you were... No apology needed. I intruded on your domain. I would be just as startled should the same happen to me. You definitely are not Father Christmas, though. <laughs> of course not. Though, for the record, I will neither confirm nor deny his existence. I can respect that. Thank you. Any time. I believe you are starting to fade, my friend. I think you're right, my dear. Ah, well. Such is life. Perhaps I'll be able to return someday. I would like that. In the meantime... Ah! I know. I will leave something for you to remember me by. To keep you company. I'm not lonely. Quite so. But in any event, could you keep this... form safe until I can return to it? I would be so grateful. Hmm. Only if you agree that I can mend it. It's in a bit of a sorry state. <laughs> It is agreed, then. Forgive me, dear. I believe the stars are calling for me. If you should ever want me, you need only look. Up. Okay, let's look at you. Wonky ear. Of course, I could use a bit more stuffing. Oh, good grief, look at this tear. A fair bit of stitching required, I think. Though, there's a far twinkle in those little eyes, even without our guest in there. Yes, there is definitely some potential here. Well, Mr. Bear, I'm too old for toys, but I will make an exception for you. As a favor for a friend, Let's get you fixed up. Would you look at that, Mr. Bear? It's snowing. Thank you to our supporters for making the show possible. Today's episode featured Karim Cronfleet as Theo and Amber Loverling as Victoria. Today's custom score was created by our resident composer, Nico Viteze of the Inky Paw Print. Artwork is created by Jesse Hawk of the Inky Paw Print. Our author is also Jesse Hawk. Story editor and producer is Daniel Foytek of Ninth Story Studios. Until tomorrow, keep your music box wound and watch your teddy bear for sudden signs of interest in snowfall.